today's Friday and we have another edition of online story time. So today I woke up and it was a little uh, foggy out, so I thought it was a great day for this new book that's brand new to the library called Creepy Carrots. Words by Aaron Reynolds and pictures by Peter Brown. So this is a Caldecott honor winning book. You can see right here by the silver medal and it's actually a shout out to Mrs. Indyke and her preschool class because they actually requested that we bring this into the library. So here's one of our new books that you will find. I hope that through this online story time series you find some books that you really want to take out of the library when we go back to school. So now let's read Creepy Carrots. Ooh, look at that. Next time you eat carrots, you're going to think of this book. Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots, and the carrots that grew in Krakenhopper Field were the best. Fat, crisp, and free for the taking. He pulled some for a morning snack on the way to school. He yanked out a few on his way to Little League practice, and he ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots. Wow, good for him. Until they started following him. Ooh. He first noticed something strange after the big game against East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard it, the soft, sinister tongue, tongue, tongue of carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought, but he hopped a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth, there they were! Jasper whipped around, but nothing. He laughed at himself, picked his toothbrush up off the floor, and went to bed quickly. The next morning, he approached Krakenhopper Field slowly. He reached for two wild carrots. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Phew, creepy carrots. It was ridiculous. But when he arrived home that evening, Mom! Mom! Jasper screamed! Creepy carrots in the shed! His mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. There are no such things as creepy carrots, Mom said, shaking her head. Silly Jasper. Later that night, as Jasper lay in bed, he heard it breathing, terrible, carroty breathing. And there on his wall, creepy carrots, he shouted, dad, dad. His dad thumped into his bedroom and threw on the light. They searched under the bed, no creepy carrots. They looked through the closet, no creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawers, no creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son, his dad said, shaking his head. Now go to sleep. That wasn't going to happen. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots creeping everywhere. Ah. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real, and they were coming for him. But they couldn't get him if they couldn't get out. I think he has an idea. Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Kraken Hopper Field. Oh, look. He measured, he cut, he dug, he watered. He did something with a fence. See what it's gonna look like. As the sun finally set across Krakenhopper Field, Jasper Rabbit smiled. 
On his way home, there was no tunk, tunk, tunk. There were no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get out of that carrot patch again. Oh, look, he even dug a moat with alligators. And as the sun finally set, the carrots of Krakenhopper Field cheered. Their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never get into that carrot patch ever again. Those sneaky carrots. The end. So tomorrow's Saturday, but stay tuned tomorrow for another book. We're going to keep this online story time reading marathon going on. Have a great day.